We are now on the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And this Sunday will be reflecting on radical discipleship. Radical discipleship means the Lord goes to roots. The Lord goes to be the foundation of our disciple journey. And then he addressed where we are and how could we become real and authentic disciples. The Lord sets the journey on a man asking a question. Lord, what shall I do in order to inherit eternal life? A sincere, honest to the expression of a person in search of meaning, a person in search of significance, a person in search of a real life lived in accordance to the gospel. Now, after which the Lord answered him back, Have you been a person following the commandments? And the Lord started to spill out the commandments in front of this person asking for meaning, asking for life's worth, dying and living for as a person. And one by one, this person answered the Lord that since he was young, he has been a good person, always following the commandments, always good and morally upright. After that, brothers and sisters, the Lord looked him with kindness and compassion, and yet more challenging and more demanding when the Lord asked him, but you lack one more thing. And what's that one more thing that the Lord was telling? You sell your possessions, give it to the poor, and come. Follow me. Afterwards, this person felt sad. He left the Lord, felt sad, for a simple reason that he has plenty of material things in life. He has plenty of things to be given up. And thus he could hardly give it up for the sake of the kingdom. This is a very strong message for all of us. So this is first reflecting that commandments or following commandments are just barely the minimum if we want to become authentic disciples of the world. Following commandments are just the beginning of a real fulfilled life preparing for the Lord's kingdom. The Lord asks us to sell our possessions, to give it to the poor, and follow Him. A very challenging and demanding task for all of us, brothers and sisters. Selling our possessions means to give up. Selling our possessions means to be detached. Selling our possessions means to be empty, to empty ourselves so the Lord will come to the world. After selling his properties, the Lord was telling him, give it to the poor and then come to me. We give up not for the sake of giving up, but we give up especially for those who are dying in the marginalized, the poor, the last, the least in the kingdom and the beneficiaries of our generosity, love, concern, compassion, and affection.
only after which the invitation of the Lord makes us a very responsive Christian in terms of radical discipleship. We don't give up after selling, giving up everything. We don't give up after giving something to the Lord, but we should journey into this world not to be served but to serve for the ransom of the man.